The great choreographer Martha Graham once said, There's a vitality, a life force, an energy, a quickening that is translated through you into action. And because there is only one of you in all of time, that expression is unique. And if you block it, it will never exist through any other medium. And be lost. And be lost. The world will not have it. It is not your business to determine how good it is, nor how valuable, nor how it compares with other expressions. It is your business to keep it yours, clearly and directly, to keep the channel open, whether you choose to take an art class, keep a journal, record your dreams, dance your story, or live each day from your own creative source. Above all else, keep the channel open open over the years the booker t washington high school for the performing and visual arts also known as arts magnet has helped generate some enormous talents if i were a painter and could paint a memory great thing about a school like arts is that you have all these great teachers but you also have a community of other artists who are your age i learned a lot from from people at school, just other students. Booker T really promotes individuality, which I think is a wonderful trait. I take the label Arts Magnet Graduate over the Queen of Neo Soul any day. I took a couple of jewelry, making glasses and painting, and it was just the, the passion of um, creating. It's still in me, it's still with me. She's a volcano. Starting out in an arts magnet school, you understood um, a sense of community with other artists and musicians, and you learned to care about them and hope that they would make it. When I heard Erica Bedu was from Arts Magnet, I was so proud and happy for her that, yes, she made it. And then later, when Nora Jones was playing, um, I was thrilled that she was from Arts Magnet. I thought, yes, again. Roy Hargrove was uh, my best friend here. He, he made it first. Actually, I was introduced to jazz through Roy and listening to him and uh, getting an understanding for what he was doing. In addition to its award-winning music, theater, dance, and visual arts programs, the Arts Magnet is renowned for its academic excellence. Fifteen students have earned presidential scholarships. The school maintains a phenomenal 99% graduation rate, with 90% of graduates going on to higher education. And every year, students earn more than $5 million in scholarships. Plus, the National Foundation for the Advancement of the Arts named Booker T as one of the top five arts high schools in the country. And though not every student will become a world-famous artist, an arts magnet education can boost a student's chances for success in a wide variety of fields. Matt Seitz, uh, who's a journalist and writer who lives in New York City. She's a fashion designer and he was, he was nominated for a Pulitzer. He started an advertising agency, a very successful one. Max Winter, who's a poet. My father's Paul Baker and his innovative vision was to have an, an environment that would really focus on the talents of the young people and he created the core philosophy for this school, which was based on his book, his philosophy of integration of abilities. If you're teaching, for instance, um, in math, and you have a person that's having a hard time learning formulas, but we know that this student has this great strength in rhythms, okay, maybe you can have them chant those formulas, you know, so that they get it into their body. The school's success is also due to its award-winning faculty, which includes Fulbright scholars, a Crystal McCullough Fellow, and National Tandy Technology Scholars. Sing a song to That was good. I think that the most inspiring thing about the school was to be around adults who were happy in their jobs and who seemed fulfilled and passionate and creative. All the teachers at Arts Magnet were extremely inspiring and had a huge impact. Through the Arts Magnet's master classes, students have studied under Doc Severinsen, Gregory Hines, Wynton Marsalis, Sidney Poitier, Marvin Hamlish, Judith Jameson, Nora Jones, Merce Cunningham, John Cage, and more. And what's particularly amazing is that the original building was actually never designed to be an art school. The original Book of Tea was a, just a comprehensive high school. The only high school for Negro and colored children in the city of Dallas. The arts magnet has always been brimming with creativity, literally.
with cramped stairwells serving as practice halls and corridors doubling as classrooms. Originally intended to house 400 students, it was home to almost twice that number in 2004. The new arts magnet is being rebuilt on the existing campus, and so it'll be roughly a 200,000 square foot facility. It became clear to me that this building, again, wanted to be about the earth. That this building is, is a kind of kiln or forge, or, you know, it, it wants to be something more visceral. The location of Booker T. Washington is the core of the Arts District of Dallas. In this neighborhood, we have three arts museums, uh, a National Symphony Center, an opera hall, a theater. And the fact that the school remains in the Arts District to allow this school to participate in this incredible cultural dialogue. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just totally extraordinary. And there will be no better learning laboratory in the country that this arts district has for the students of Booker T. Washington. Without Arts Magnet, I, I may have burned out on music because I didn't like the rigidity of having to be in marching band only in school. I may be right here, I don't know, but I'm really glad that I had Arts Magnet in my life. Going through Arts Magnet really opened up doors for me and I chose the door that I wanted to go through. It was a great education, you know. He showed us a lot of beautiful writers and inspired us to, uh, to tell our story. Over the years, the Arts Magnet has been one of the most inspiring educational facilities in the country, a launching pad for some of today's most influential artists. And with the new campus, this tradition will only grow stronger so that today's most gifted students will continue to become tomorrow's masters. I'm the next Edie Brickell. I'm the next Aretha Franklin. I'm the next Keith Jarrett. I am the next Erica Badu. When you give to the Arts Magnet Building Campaign, you're not just helping today's most talented youth, you're helping forge the great masters of tomorrow. I'm the next Mozart. I'm the next De Niro. I'm the next Baryshnikov. I'm the next jazz legend, Frank Lucrasto. I'm the next Edie Brickell. I'm gonna be the next Nora Jones. And I'm the next Erica Badu. Wait a minute, I, I am Erica Badu. Can I be the next something else? Give generously to the Arts Magnet Building Campaign at artsmagnet.org.